Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's Francesco here. So in this video, I'm actually gonna be passing over to Carl. Now, a lot of you guys know who Carl is. I'm gonna include all this information in the description. But Carl covers videos on Todoist, Evernote, and a couple of other resources. Um, but he, in today's video, is gonna be covering why he specifically uses Todoist in his daily routine and why he thinks it's a really strong application. Now, as I mentioned, I'm gonna include everything in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'm gonna pass over to Carl to do all of the talking. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Make sure to subscribe to both of us and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Hi, Francesco. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to talk to your viewers about my favorite application. And that application is Todoist. And for your viewers, what I want to do is to be able to talk to them about my favorite features in Todoist and why I use Todoist when there's so many, many alternatives out there and as your channel has very frequently reviewed. Um, but Todoist is one of those applications that I fell in love with about three years ago and it's been a journey and I cannot imagine myself in any situation moving away from Todoist and so I would, I'm just very grateful that you gave me this opportunity to be able to show people why I use Todoist and just two or three of my favorite features in this particular application. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background for those people who don't know me, uh, I run a YouTube channel, uh, it's called Working With and I focus on essentially two applications, that's Todoist and Evernote and I also have a mini series on productivity issues. Incidentally, I've also written a book on Todoist, working with Todoist the book, which is available on Amazon, iBookstore, and through my website, which I'm sure Francesco will put a link in the comments section or the notes section below. So let's just get straight into this and I will show you exactly why I like Todoist and two or three of my favorite features. And once again, Francesco, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Right, so why do I use Todoist? Well, the real truth of the matter is, and what really attracted me to Todoist in the first place, was its beauty. Uh, the guys or the design team over at Todoist have done a fantastic job of designing a most beautiful interface. And this is one of those things that when I'm working in an application on a regular basis, I want it to look fantastic. And Todoist really does look fantastic. Now, one of the things that you can do if you don't like the Todoist Red, I, I really do, it seems to work better with my iPhone, so I prefer the Todoist Red. But one of the features that I really like about Todoist is the fact that depending on my mood, I can change the color so I can have tangerine if I wish, which is one of my favorite colors. I actually do like the clover, uh, which is a really, really nice color too. And what you'll notice is, is that the, depending on the theme that you're using, the, the links actually are color coded to your actual um, <clears throat> theme. So for me, I, at the moment, I'm, I'm into the Todoist red, but there are other colors that, so I really do like that feature. And I came from an OmniFocus background, and since we moved to, since they moved to OmniFocus 2, the ability to change the colors themes uh, was lost, which was a shame because I really did like the the previous version of to do uh, OmniFocus. But fortunately, I have this option in Todoist, which is great. So that's one of my favorite features. Going back into the uh, accounts, so let's just come out of settings. As you can see, we have uh, up at the top here, we have inbox today and next seven days. However, one of the best features for me in Todoist is this feature here, which if you click on the icon up at the top here, the Todoist logo, you have your, um, you can have your own custom view. And I like to have my inbox items in my custom view and I've already processed my inbox for today so that's fine and I have waiting for at the bottom because things I'm waiting for 
I don't really have to keep my eyes on all the time as long as I see them every day. So as I'm ticking off the tasks in here, uh, I can hit my waiting for. And for those of you curious, if, for those of you who are using Todoist, it's really easy to set up. All you have to do is go again into your Todoist settings and you can alter your custom view here. So it says start page here, your start page and you can choose projects, you can choose whatever you want in here. I, as I say, have a custom view and I can edit that. And basically it's like setting up a filter. So in my case, I've got, if we just go back here, I've got inbox, P inbox, which is P means project, overdue and today, which is the main window and at waiting for. And another feature that I really like is you can change this order and have it whichever way you want. So that's really cool. So I really like my today, my what I call my dashboard view. So those are like two or three things that I really like about Todoist. And that is this ability to be able to create your own custom landing page. And also the fact that you can change the theme and also its beauty. Now, whether the beauty is in on the desktop, which I'm showing you here, or on the iPhone, um, it's just a very beautiful interface. And the theme works across everywhere you go. The final thing I want to tell you about why I like to do is, is, it's, um, uh, is the fact that it has a uniform look right across the whole system. So here I am in Safari, and as you'll notice in Safari, the theme remains the same. So if I go into my, um, just restart that, and you can see that I have this set up. So I haven't updated my Safari version of it, but it's the same theme throughout the whole um, process in here. So uh, this is one of the things that I really, really like. Now, I should point out that what I'm showing you here is my demo account. I have a demo account in my, uh, in Todoist for when I was writing the book. So this this particular one, as you notice up here, it says uh, <laughs> I'm down. I don't have very many tasks that I've actually created, but this was just my demo account from when I was writing the book. This is my real account that I'm showing you here. And as you can see, I have my own setup. So that's one of the things that I, I as I say, these are just some of the things that I really like about to do is the final one is something I'm going to need to show you on my iPhone and as you can see from the iPhone I have an iPhone 7 and it's one of those features that I really really like in Evernote in Todoist is that the 3D touch functionality so if I use my phone click on that I have share Todoist next seven days today and add task I use add task all the time to capture tasks as I'm going out throughout the day. It is just one of those things that, to be honest with you, I don't know how I lived without it when I had my previous iPhone 6, which doesn't have 3D touch, but it's just one of those awesome features that I find myself using all the time. And that simply is just the 3D touch, add task, bang, and I can just get straight into Todoist. It's fantastic, I love that. So there you go. Those are my two or three favorite features. The fact that you can change the theme, the beautiful interface, uh, and the customizable home screen uh, landing page, if you like, or start page, and the 3D touch version that we can use on the iPhone. So once again, I would like to thank Francesco for allowing me to, to talk to you guys, talk to all his subscribers and his viewers, uh, about Todoist. It is an amazing app and uh, I strongly recommend that you go out there and have a try. And that is basically the reason I love using Todoist. So thanks very much for watching this episode and I wish you all a very, very, very productive week.